YouTube shall be making a video over on how to make your virtual machine faster in Parallels Desktop. I'll mostly be handling the settings within Parallels Desktop natively apart from the actual and operating system configuration. Let's head over to Configure in general. So the very first thing is you'd want to add as many CPUs as possible for when you're using a virtual machine. So this, of course, need to keep a balance between the host operating system, so maybe 8 would not be the most preferable. In terms of memory, you want to make sure you keep a balance between Mac OS X and Windows, and you want to make sure that you're not going to be putting any of the memory right onto your hard drive or solid state because that will lower the performance significantly. So generally within the recommended bar, that would be great. You would want to reclaim as much space as possible, so this would just make your operating system easier to use with more space in a hard drive, which usually improves access time. Into options, these are just general optimization. You can change the speed of the virtual machine or the Mac. And then you can tune Windows for speed, which will make sure that it will be properly tuned and ready to function. You can change the power for better performance if you want better performance on your virtual machine, like here, for a faster virtual machine. And then within security, usually if there's more and more security, it'll generally slow down, just like in antiviruses. Um, as we go down generally in coherence mode, there's slightly more lag than just putting it natively at this resolution. And also, whenever you have it on a retina display, usually the operating system has to power more pixels, which will make the operating system seem slower. Just like how on retina displays, there's usually UI lag and going through the different elements within the operating system. And then, yeah, these are just some general, for example, parallel tools. So boot order doesn't matter, you want to have more video memory if you're handling more with graphics, otherwise you can keep it to a minimum. Uh, you would enable 3D acceleration and again resolution, the higher the resolution generally, the more the GPU has to push. And the rest are just standard. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this goes alongside the basics of making sure you have no viruses or anything else on your map. So thanks for watching.